In this short video we're going to have a look at the uh, new widening feature on, on your row toolbar, snippet widening attributes. They are linked to the uh, new widening option there called row widening with a snippet. So similar to the attributes used in your snippet pavement attributes, the widening ones when activated will set some defaults for you. They have a reference style and zone and uh, as with the Snippet attributes, you can have uh, uh, up to 10 uh, styles and up to 10 zones. So for this reference style one, zone number one, I've got a model syntax for the uh, triangulations that are going to be reduced for the um, um, snippet and that gives me a syntax. So it's the syntax here plus the super name uh, plus anything that you may specify inside the snippet itself. You can apply as prefix or suffix. We have colours for the uh, tins created, um, one for the minimum maximum, one for the existing and one for the super. The old widening option was like this but it was a function and if you wanted several of these down the uh, down your alignment string you would have, would have had to have a function for each one. So now with the um, snippet, with row widening with snippet, you're able then to uh, specify using the snippet as many of these as you want in the one road function. So this will create a apply MTF function. Uh, so if I pick my road center line, I can use start and end changes for the uh, limitations of of the um, uh, job. So I can simply just go and say at point change. Pick up the drape center line and string from point change. This is just a drop down list to the um, uh, style that you may be uh, using. Again, under the style button here, we only have the one at the moment, uh, but you can obviously have more than one. So just reference style one, zone one. This is for the function MTF. So there's a um, uh, a name here so it will become uh, include the alignment string uh, reference name so I go process I then go to my section view and I look at the um, the row profile I have so far um, I've got a reference alignment I've inserted a string uh, to match the existing uh, road edge and then I've widened out on either sides for my new curve profile my new curve profile changes uh, widths, so I've done a two string modifier to position my cur final curb. So under the um, plus button, the um, widening snippet option has created a widen MCO00 tin, which is the name of the reference alignment, and it's on only on the left hand side. So that's what the startup does as a, as a default. So if I edit the function that belongs to that widening, it's simply just a function name, an MTF file that gets created for you, and the string that you selected. So if you edit the MTF file that's created, and on the left hand side, we've got the widen envelope. So it's just a snippet from my library. So on the left hand side of the road, um, it's using my styles, uh, reference style uh, 1 and uh, zone 1. Uh, at the moment it's not using the hinge string or anything, so it's just using the alignment string and the and the and the widening tins for your envelope for your widening um, is uh, sitting at the at the reference alignment string. If I wish to really want the widening over on this um, on the on the cutback string, I then select hinge. And so if I pick up that uh, EPL cutback references, and again I go apply. So now the the widening is, is uh, uh, the widening envelope is on the uh, uh, cutback edge string of the existing road. You have the uh, defaults to uh, three and minus three, 15 meters, just to how far it goes out from there. And at the moment, it's just doing the minimum maximum cross falls. Um, so if you have a look under the uh, the uh, tins manager, so under here at the moment, you've got a widening MC tin maximum left and maximum minimum maximum right. So we can do choices, seeing we've picked that string there, we can now find out what the extension of the existing crossfall is. So we can go extend existing and again go apply. 
So then just extends that um, um, existing bitumen line color uh, using the uh, reference string and that string there to produce that. So if you want to have the two together and end up with a cor uh, an envelope here for grading your lip of curb string, you can go uh, existing plus minimum maximum and go apply. So that way the uh, the uh, minimum maximum cross faults are not absolute, they are relative to the existing. Um, so if you're only interested in a 1% a, a difference, you would change these to 1 and minus 1 and you'd have a uh, an envelope for grading your curb string. Uh, so the grading of the curb string can either be done by um, uh, uh, snapping onto uh, the existing tin for instance or grading with points that you know always uh, fall within this corridor. So again I can also pick a crown string so if there was a another string here that was slightly different than the uh, cross for my reference alignment I can pick a crown string and it will also then use that information. Um, this particular snippet can pick strings anywhere inside your job. Um, so they're external strings so you can pick two strings over here and so forth and it will then produce that cross four from this side of the road as well as from the left hand side. So that's not limited to what side those strings belong to. So for the um, uh, left hand side it's done that for you. So inside my plan view if I add in my tin, the tin sitting there. So that's the three tins the existing and also the um, uh, uh, existing one. So existing in the minimum maximum. So if your super alignment does have um, uh, a super alignment design speed table attached to it, you can select reference alignment super elevation. And that will actually produce a super elevation tin as well. And again, you can also then say I want super plus minimum maximum. And I go apply and it does that for me. So this will be really good for uh, if you're doing a super elevation around a corner and not only extending out to here but this could be not just a road widening, it could also be a, a um, uh, exit lane uh, from a freeway, any sort of thing where you're trying to project that cross fall. So to do one on the right hand side, you simply just bring up the modifier for the right hand side. Grab the snippet from your library and that's called um, the last one there, widen envelope. Alright, so it, basically it's asking for the same sort of thing. So I'm looking at a uh, at a, uh, a hinge string. So I'm picking a string out here, which is my uh, cutback string, and I'm going to apply. So now on the right hand side, I have a, a widening as well, uh, all within the one function and uh, using the uh, same snippet from the library. Um, if you do again have uh, options where you're using a widening, uh, the widening envelope in the same area and trying to get a, 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 a new widening tin possibly to replicate the footpath, you can use this additional tin suffix here um, which uh, for uh, you picking um, uh, different string names and so forth. So again if I want about to go and find out what the super elevation is like I go apply, it'll then do the super elevation for me for that uh, from the center line. And if I then want to also find out what the what the envelope like the, the left hand side, I can do super minimum maximum. And it will produce that for me. So again then I can um, uh, grade between grade this curb either on the super tin uh, or between the envelope that's specified there. So also on that one there you can extend existing as well. So in that case here we can just say uh, no to absolute and they'll be then relative to the extended uh, existing cross fall. So you can see that runs through there and you've got an envelope either side of that for your grading. Um, so again if we go back and grab the super minimum maximum, apply. So you've got the projected super as the magenta colour and the other 2% variation on either side is the uh, envelope. So it just allows you that flexibility to have as many of these along your alignment string as you want um, and uh, all within the one function. So under the uh, manager we now have a, uh, a widen minimum maximum super whatever it may be and left and right um, syntax uh, for what side of the, of the road your widening's on.
Thank you.